Hey, Janine. Hi, Vicki. How are you today? Good. Well, Janine and I thought it would be great opportunity to kind of go through the MN Bump website. Um, we hopefully have our businesses opening again next week, and they've had a, a long lull, and it's really important for us to um, connect with our local businesses and organizations and um, really shop local when you can. So what we'd like to do is kind of give you an overview of the MN Bump website and then also how you can search for our businesses, organizations, hobby groups, and more. Um, just an easy way to stay connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow along on the screen and Janine's going to kind of talk us through this. So I will follow her lead. Well, great. Yes, Vicki and I have been um, putting information on the mnbump.com website to share a lot of information about um, what's happening here in Big Stone County and, and some of our organizations and businesses, hobbies and groups, as she said. So first off, what um, you're seeing here is the homepage for the mnbump.com. It um, shows a lot of information on the page in regards to some of the blog posts that we've had on here, which you'll see underneath the picture of the of the um, lake there, but below is a bunch of um, several, I guess I should say, different blog posts that we've had over the last year or so. Um, back scrolling up to the top, it will show the links for the page that will give us the opportunity to click on information on the page. Um, one of the things that you'll see is the bottom that is highlighted right there. It says search for businesses, organizations, hobby groups, and more. And Vicki's going to click on that right now. And what this is, is it's a directory of all of the businesses and um, organizations that are located in the Minnesota bump, which is Big Stone County. They have all been set up in categories, which um, we continually add categories, I'd say, um, different things that we come up with. Um, so for instance, if you look at churches there and you click on, um, Vicki can click on churches on the left side, you click on that category and you'll see that there are 19 churches that are listed from Big Stone County. Each of those churches has a link that gives information about um, their church and a link to their page uh, that's either their Facebook page or their or their, um, their website. So what you'll see there is, for instance, she just clicked on Zion Lutheran Church in Ortonville. And we have put a picture of Zion Lutheran Church on this particular link. And that's what we'd like to do as well. So we're looking for your help as well as a business organization or hobby club group you know, from the, the county to help us get a picture that we can add to the MN Bump page for this opportunity. Um, the information below is, we're, we're not gonna include a lot of information about your business. We want them to come to you so that you get the, the um, click and they'll come to your Facebook or website. But the information we'll give here is, a, is your address and your phone number and a link to your page so that they can come here to find the information and then click on it to get to your page. So for instance, um, on this particular Zion's page, that was the information there, but you'll notice that there are also several, or all of the other churches. And if we happen to have missed somebody, please let us know because these were the ones that Vicki and I thought of and then found throughout our directory and our background information being we've both lived here most of our lives. <laughs> Um, but um, let's go back, Vicki, just to the, um, to the main page again, just back to the search and see the categories. Um, there are things that we will add as we, as we go through here. Um, our, I guess our initial thing was we wanted to get every business listed and we wanted to get them in a category. Isn't that what you'd say? Yes. Yep. So now we can fine tune and we can add ones that we have forgotten or, you know, we missed somehow, but, and, and if they want to let us know that they think that there's a category name that would fit them better, um, any of those changes we're open to, we want this to be the most workable, 
easy to find our businesses and organizations. That's great. And another thing I'm noticing just as I look here, I, you know, we're going to find things that, that we need to to update as well so if I happen to look here I know there are more than two fire departments in Big Stone County yep. each of our communities has one that listing there says that there are two and so what we'll do now is go back and correct that and add to make sure um, we have the Corral and the Odessa fire department. <laughs> how did so, I not put Ortonville's in there well and the yes. Clinton Grace School and Beersley <laughs> ones I know we have sites for them so the thing is yes. is that there will be a page, which brings us another thing. So if we're just looking for a particular business in Clinton, Graceville, Beardsley, Ortonville, Corral, Johnson, you'll see um, that those li are listed below. So if I know that there's a business in, in Odessa, for instance, and I want to go to that business in Odessa, which maybe some of you didn't know there were 17 businesses in Odessa. So let's take a look at that. Um, so the businesses in Odessa that we have show up um, are Agassi and Odessa Mutual, Big Stone Western Art. I mean, obviously you can read them there, but um, the each of the cities has a site as well that takes them takes you to their page. So there are several businesses, but if we um, want to go back to the, um, if we can go back to the, as you'll notice there, we have, um, we just looked at the Odessa. You can also and look at Big Stone County, for example. Um, this is kind of an interesting one because there are several businesses that are located within a community, but they are more focused on the whole county, not just that particular community. And some of them might be community focused, but also do not um, have their offices in Big Stone County. Like for instance, AgriLite. Um, Otter Tail, those types of electric companies are services that we use in our county, but their main offices maybe aren't directly there. This is also another place that we've listed um, some of the groups and organizations that are within the county, but not necessarily within just a community, where you'll notice the, um, the Arts um, Council, the Chamber, um, some businesses that are are, are located within the county as well. Um, we have the Hutterite Colony that has garden, a garden center and other opportunities out there. Um, so that's just one other page that has some information um, about countywide. Now, if we go back to the, uh, the listing of communities as well, um, <clears throat> excuse me, there are, you know, like I said, you, you could go to the each of the communities and show. There's also some businesses that are in the rural areas. So there's under the RR for rural route is what we're calling that. Um, let's click on that. That's okay. great. Okay. And so like uh, one of the things that we want to do is you see that there, um, for instance, click on click on the Big Stone Lake State Park, Vicki, would you? Sure. So the Big Stone Lake State Park has, um, is at Meadowbrook, which is part of, the, you know, the Big Stone Lake area. There's a couple, um, there's a photo option there that we want to add. But the, the listing that is there right now, it's just an MN bump, and it says that we have listed these businesses. Can you scroll up and maybe just click on that, on that photo? Will that show what that says or not? No, it doesn't. Okay. That's for some fine. reason, it cropped it funny, so it must crop it differently for the individual pages. But it says that the listings are intended to provide a one-stop place for for our links, and that's what we intended by this, not to replace your website, your business, your information, but just a place where we can get together and connect so that you know where, if you're looking for you know, where is a builder that can help me build something? Where is a place that I can go and relax? Where is a club or organization? I'm new to the community and I want to be able to find, you know, if I want to, if I want to join a women's group in, in Graceville, I can click on either on Graceville, I could click on groups. So as we're talking about that, let's go back up and look at the, the hobby 
the um, category that it's called a hobby or group adult, which is the first one up on the top left. As you'll notice there, it says there's 21 in that hobby group or club, but there is a plus sign located next to the number 21. And what does that mean? Well, when we click on that plus sign, there are several hobbies, clubs, and groups that we have, but we wanted to to um, break them down a little bit farther than just a hobby group or club. So you'll see that there's baseball teams, dart leagues, bowling leagues, different things in our communities that are that are clubs. So in addition to having a business of a bowling alley, the bowling alley also may have a club or a group. So uh, when there's um, a league for darts, each of our businesses, each of the bars and, and restaurants, or bars, excuse me, in the community have, in the different communities, have pool leagues and dart leagues. So there's one league, and if you click on that, for instance, that will take you to the league information for the dart league and pool league. So that is offered through Games Unlimited. But each of those, each of those bars have the opportunity to go directly to there, but you wanted to participate in a league and you didn't know how, if you didn't contact the bar directly, you could contact Games Unlimited and they would tell you where one of those leagues would be. So let's go back to the business link, business organizations hobby link and our categories. Um, I guess our goal here with this video as well is to is to reach out to you to have you help us fill the holes in this. So we want you to be able to go to the page, look at your business, find your business. If you see categories and places that you want us to add, we'd love you to be able to, to tell us what you want that category to be. Um, if you have, um, say for instance, under bakery, let's click on bakery. I'm just curious what's under bakery, far right. Oh, okay, there. And I think they're alphabetical order, but I think they go across the screen yeah. and then down. Yeah, the they go across. So right now, it says Hartman Super Value is a bakery. Well, I would assume, and I know that Bonnie's Hometown Grocery in Clinton has baked items that they get off of their trucks. Same with the Graceful Country Market. I know that places like um, Ling and Berries and also the Second Street, they have baked items as well. So maybe they should be listed under bakery. So it, it's something that we are working on building and hoping to provide a great opportunity and spot for you to, to visit the page to find those connections.